Greetings, YouTube. I felt like another volume of Net Liberum Random Magical Effects. So here they are. These are the side effects of spells cast. Um, and this list was created by a person going by the name of Oryx. I believe it's a guy. And he's actually seen this and was thankful for the fact that I took such an in-depth look at this particular um, document. I love this friggin' thing. It is a lot of fun to play with. And it is a great idea generator in my opinion. So I have a random number generator set up to go from 1 to 10,000. So we're going to hit the magic button and see what happens. And that's Mandarin whining in the background because that's what she does bless best. I want 8845 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, Wow, that could be really dangerous if this was cast inside, like, a pub or something, your average tavern, because that could kill some folks. Because <laughs> say they're drinking 10 or 11% alcoholic beverage, and there are many beers out there, particularly, I probably imagine, of the Dwarven variety, that are probably in the 15 to 20 range. And suddenly it's pure alcohol, essentially, with a little bit of beer flavor. And if a person didn't know that, they're going to get really drunk really quick. Wow. That could be interesting. Imagine if you did that inside, like, a distillery. You'd make a lot of money off that. A side effect, you couldn't plan on it, but wow. Yeah. That one could be dangerous. Entertaining, but also dangerous. 61, 58. Grab the thingy. 61, 58. Here we go. Target is pelted by hundreds of acorns. <laughs> I like that. It's absurd. It, it isn't really going to cause them any serious damage. I mean... You might consider like a swarm attack that does one point of damage per round or something like that. And it runs for, you know, not random number of rounds or something. But yeah, that's, that's funny. <laughs> not to mention when you're done, you got a bunch of acorns. You can use those for acorn flower. Um, but yeah, wow. <laughs> that one makes me laugh. Particularly if the spell in question had nothing to do with an attack. It's, you know, it's, it's. It's just something, you cast a heal spell and it goes wrong, or an enlarge spell, or a shrink spell, or something, and all of a sudden the person is being pelted by acorns. They're not going to be happy with you, but it is very entertaining for everyone else. 23, 13, we keep going up. What if we'll keep going up? I mean, they're random numbers, just the only direction they want to go, but they're random. 23, was that 23, 13? Yeah, 23, 13, 23, 13. Here we go. A uh, caster's spell book can hold 100 pounds like a bag of holding. Now, I'd make that permanent, man. That's cool. So you've got a little, you open the thing up, there's a little door inside. You open it up and you can reach in and pull stuff out. That is very cool. It makes me think of uh, the briefcase in, from uh, uh, Scalamanders, the, 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 the the wizard that um, is into from uh, ah, shoot, I can't remember the name of the R J R K R K Rowling J K Rowling series um, about the about Amer the mage in America trying to return you know monsters and take care of things like that. But regardless, pardon me, that's really really cool. Um, I like that idea. Very utility. Um, I like utility spells and utility magic. It makes me think of things that people would actually do. If they had access to magic. You actually point out, by the way, talking through a cat isn't the easiest thing in the world. All right, number four. 9155. I guess I bored her. Or my breath smells. Who knows? 
9155. Top of this next column. In this region, the use of arcane magic is punishable by death. That's a little weird, because most of these things have been like side effects of spells. So if you use magic within this zone, arcane magic, it specifies arcane magic, is punishable by death. Who enforces that? Do you create some kind of extra dimensional being that is an adjudicator? Like from the John Wick film? Hmm. That, that could be a game changer. That could be very dangerous. It could be interesting. But who enforces this? I'm not quite sure how this particular mechanic functions. Yeah. That's a mixed bag in my book. Alrighty. 1,063 for number 5 and our last auction option for the day. 1,063. Here we go. Caster is 10% likely to be invisible to any female that he meets. I'd make that, that, that permanent. I would. Because I'm mean. Now... This is a mixed bag. There may be times you really want to be invisible to a particular woman. There are going to be times when you really don't want to be invisible to a particular woman. It's going to make an intriguing complexity to certain social environments, um, as well as useful and adventuring, again, but you can't plan on it. Um, and since it it's a pretty, it could be a pretty good chance that you don't initially know about it. Say you're in a group where there are no women. It happens. Or the ones in the group are in the 90% who can see you. So the person goes along blithely and then they find themselves being completely ignored by, you know, someone working in a tavern. Why isn't she taking my order? And they can hear a disembodied voice. It says invisible. It doesn't say that they can't perceive you at all, which might freak them out. Why is somebody talking to me? I can't see. And is it is it like something that works forever, or is it like say every twenty four hours? Lots of spells work that way. If somebody fails their saving throw, or they make their saving throw, they're immune to that effect for twenty four hours. So, and the last spells only work once for in 24 hours if it succeeds. So yeah, I'd probably say it was 24 hours. So in the next 24 hours, that person can't see you, but they can still hear you and smell you and touch you and things like that. Could be kind of romantic comedy, comedy thing going on there, rom-com thing going on. Um, somebody could decide they really find you quite interesting and it's a dating option until they see you and decide, hey, you know, you're not what I thought you were. <laughs> The Cyrano de Bergerac kind of going on there. Yeah, that, that one that one has some potential. I like that one. All righty. So this has been volume six of the Net Liberum list of random effects. I'm not really sure how I feel about the region one. Like, how is it formed? How long does it last? And who is the adjudicator for that kind of thing? Where does the power come from? Because I know I wouldn't enforce that kind of power. I don't believe the death sentence should be for anything. Let alone doing something as mundane as using arcane magic. So yeah. It's a bit of a weird one in my book. But alright. I know but you can't have everything. Where would you put it? So thank you for being here. And I hope that you will be here for my next RPG video.